Hi guys, welcome to another video. The time is, I don't know, just before seven in the morning. Um, I have now been awake for about 24 hours, uh, but we are in Cardiff to cover a story. How the hell do you get out of here? Um, I'm really not a morning person. How do you get down? We'll try this way. Um, so first things first, I need to grab a coffee. So I've driven through the night and I'll check in with you once I've done so. Hi guys, so uh, yeah, you might recognise this place from a recent video. Cardiff Crown Court. Now, I'm here today to attend and report on the trial of Mr. Coley Burks, who is in court today on various counts. Um, he had a motion hearing last week, pre-trial uh, motions, and the trial begins today. So yeah, I'll be taking notes, and uh, yeah, I guess put a report together, which I guess you're already watching, so yeah, I'll see you on the outside. Um, I've not actually been in to see him yet, um, as such, because it's been delayed by two hours, so um, I thought we would come and do do this bit first, and um, that's a very weird system. Uh, they bring the prisoners over the pavement, which is a bit weird. So I thought I'd kill some time and come back and uh, see if... Uh, if we get any uh, kind of interactions or anything um, from this station as it was a bit quiet last time but to be fair we came in the evening so but we'll do a bit of a daytime video here it is pouring with rain so um, yeah look at this they're actually bringing the prisoners. Oh, we might see Mr. Coley Burks. <laughs> it's very strange. They're bringing them across the pavement into the court rather than driving in, which is a bit strange. But, um, you know, we won't go too close. That is a police officer who has parked his personal car on the double yellows. That is not Cody Burks. Who is this? Oh, okay. That is a court vehicle. Yep, that is Mr. Coley Burks. Is that normal you do that? Pardon? Is that normal you do that? Do what? <laughs> like bring them across the pavement. Alright. I'd have thought you'd have like driven in. I've just never seen that before. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Last time I was here they drove them in. But uh Yeah. 
No. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting. Huh? It's in public. I can in public. Not into there, I can't, but in public, I can. We'll keep a distance. I mean, I know I've kind of hinted at it before, but I just think this is a bit strange, isn't it? Almost like a bit of a security risk. I mean, I know they're like handcuffed and stuff, but it just feels a little odd. Just making a video. So just to recap the previous sentence given to Burke back in October um, for various drug supply offences and a breach of bail, I believe. Um, that would have totaled to seven years and four months. But we do not know 100% if this was the total sentence given, as the various sentences are likely to be running concurrently, not consecutively. Therefore, it's likely to be that the real sentence was 24 months and 7 days, which was the highest sentence given for a single offence. Now, on this day that I was in court, Burke was facing a trial for two counts of witness intimidation, ABH and criminal damage. Now, just before getting started, the clerk of court came over to me and told me that the judge does not want me to take notes. I declined and said that press and members of the public are perfectly within their rights to take notes. That was well established. I asked if we could pause for a while while I gather some case law. And he agreed and we adjourned for lunch. Now this is the case law that I found. So this is an article about the case law that I used. You can actually click on and read the actual judgment and everything. Um, but I'll leave that to you if you'd like to do that. Um, so what I used was Ewing versus Crown Court. Um, and in 2014, the Queen's Bench Division of the High Court ruled that anyone, press or public, can take notes without consent unless there is a good reason. Now, the Courts and Tribunal Service says there can be no objection to note-taking in the public gallery unless it is done for a wrongful purpose, such as briefing a witness on what has already happened. I presented this case law to the clerk, who passed it on to the judge. He looked it over and agreed that I would be able to take notes. But it doesn't end there. Just wait and hear how the tyrant judge retaliated. So, proceeding started just after 12pm, the judge introduced himself, read the charges and got Burke to confirm his name. There was a lot of back and forth as there were multiple issues with Burke and his counsel, which obviously I can't really go into more than that. But due to this and 
other various delays and issues, it was decided to adjourn the trial again. However, jurors were sworn in. At some point around this time, Burke started knocking on the opaque glass that was between us. Um, you know, we were probably sat about a metre apart, but we had a screen in between. And then he was trying to look round the screen, but was quickly told to sit back down. Now, although the trial didn't really start, I did see a few exhibits being admitted, such as a supposed photo of his partner's face with a mark on, and a letter sent to a witness which supposedly contained DNA. Now, at this stage, no plea was entered. At this stage, hours after I won the right to take notes, the judge decided to put a reporting restriction on the case and instructed me that I am not to publish this story, which is why it has taken to this point for me to release it, because I legally haven't been able to. Now, before leaving, the prosecutor also decided it was his turn to lecture me on not posting the footage or outlining what would happen, and I politely told him that I'm not a moron. Um, so yeah, here you can see the sentence. It says, Burke Ezroy, age 31, has been sentenced to three years imprisonment for assault. That's ABH. Ezroy from Wokingham was visiting Cardiff in December 2021 when he attended Cardiff Bay Police Station with his partner to conduct a so-called audit. The pair then returned to a hotel in Pentwyn where he assaulted her and made off prior to police attendance. He was arrested by TVP the next day for the assault and was bailed. He went on to commit further offences of witness intimidation whilst attempting to get the victim to drop the complaint against him. He was further arrested and remanded into custody. Following a lengthy investigation which involved three forces, he pled guilty to ABH and witness intimidation in April 2023 and was sentenced to 37 months imprisonment. So he was sentenced to 37 months, which he pled guilty for, so you can remove a third from that, so automatically we're down to 24 months, which, with good behaviour, would take that down even further to just 12 months. Now, I'm not sure if it was running consecutively or concurrently to his current sentence when trying to work out his release date, but either way... I estimate he should be released between February 2024 and November 2024, and that is providing he is released early with good behaviour. So yeah, I don't want to go on about this any longer. I'm going to continue the video now, which I continued into Cardiff um, during the long break and filmed. Um, so we're going to cut in now where I'm going to the town hall. Hello, so today, while in Cardiff, I saw this nice building, Cardiff City Hall, which looks very nice. Let's get some shots of it before we go in. There we go, brave the rain. Hmm. Oh yeah. So there's security on the door here, so it doesn't look like it's a I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, hello. Yeah, I just want to go in any public area. Hmm, so, he said I can go in and have a look. Which begs the question, what is he there for? Hello. 
Hello. Yeah, just having a look around. What, here? Yes. I just want to look around the building, in the public areas. What do you mean? Are you a visitor? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> okay. You're not from, from Wales? Uh, no. I just thought I'd become an Oh no, I'm from down south. Down south? Yeah. What's that then? Is that this building? Is this room? Yes, you can eventually get to that building. But if you go up the stairs, that side, you can get down to the marble hall. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and just have a look through the, um, obviously the marble hall. And if you go down the far end, yeah. that's the assembly room. And oh, that's okay. All right, All right. thank you. Hmm. Very friendly. Almost walked into an office, apparently. Oh well. It's actually good they corrected me. Because I quite want to look up here. Hmm. Who is this? Charles Croft Williams. Hmm. Welcome to British citizenship. Am I supposed to be in here? Hmm. Don't know if I'm supposed to be in here, but... <laughs> wow. Check out this painting. Come on, let's go up on stage. It would be rude not to. Whoa. Look at this room. Hmm, it's a kitchen. Not 
really interested in that. Hmm. Wow, this is something a bit different for the channel. Hopefully half of you haven't switched off by now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, some of you just enjoy this wonderful building. Let's zoom in. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that scared me. Now where are we? hear a voice but can't see anyone thank you bye thank you hmm. Hmm. Wow, that was a big old pass for, what did they call this? City Hall, something like that. Great. Brilliant, right. Let's go see what else we can find. What are they doing? Oh, Scrooge himself. Christmas is over. <laughs> so yeah, it seems they're taking down all the Christmas fair. Which, uh, we've got some, uh, Oh. Yeah, love your hat looks fine. They're destroying Christmas. Sorry? They're destroying Christmas. Yeah. They <laughs> yeah, are, I know. Sad, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's not going to be the same, is it, when you walk past? I well, know, yeah. Lovely to see. Well, not even from here, so. Oh, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no, it is lovely. Oh, so I come here and you're dismantling oh, it. Oh, we've I been know, here for eight yeah. weeks. We closed right. on Sunday. Oh, right. Yeah. I never even considered how they got that up and... It's amazing, isn't it? You just imagine it appears, <laughs> don't yes, you? Yes, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you know the, the long pieces? Yeah. Apparently they fold, they fold up slightly to make it a bit smaller. Hmm. Well, I've got a couple of hours spare, am I? <laughs> yeah, just have a look, isn't it? Just do a time lapse, maybe. I like the fun house and whatever, you know, the big fun house. Yeah. It, it all goes into one lorry. It yeah. all folds up in itself. I've seen them drive along the motorway. <laughs> We've got, uh, they're coming out very soon, that's why I've left the gates open. Oh, right. Because um, the blue one has the dodgems. All oh, right, and it's all in there. Everything, the, yeah, the whole thing, the cars, <laughs> everything. Lovely. It's like one of those paper models, isn't it, yes. that you unfold and then fold back up again. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. It's sad to see it all go. Yeah, well, that's life. A few months, and they'll be putting it back again. <laughs> they, they will. You're right. They'll be over the over the bay, isn't it? I don't know. Well, oh. I just went in there. Oh, it's lovely in there. The museum here. Is that free? Yes. All right. Hundred percent free. Good. Yeah, in here. I like 10 free things. Yeah, it's open now. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Looking for some things to video. Oh, it's lovely in there. It's really nice. You'll have lots to do in so there. So, what kind of stuff is it? Like oh, gosh. old TV. No, um, it's BBC, does it? 
Uh, yeah, there's uh, it's from dinosaurs. There's old oh, right. coins. Oh, it's lovely. You could spend a couple of hours. Oh, in coins! There. I like coins. Yeah, it's lovely. I've got a hundred pound coin in my bag. Have you? Do you want to see it? Yeah, I do. I'd like to. Yeah. So yeah, the difference between security in Wales and elsewhere. Oh, lovely here. But yeah, this lady recommends checking out the museum, so uh, we'll go and do that now. I think. I'm going to go to the museum. Okay, yeah, it's lovely in there. You'll have a lovely time. Yeah, it is fun. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, so we'll see if they let us film in here. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you will probably think this is boring and feel free to switch off. But <sighs> You know, I know quite a few people enjoyed um, my last video looking around a museum. Uh, so we'll do this one and see what we see. So yeah, this is the lobby. We shall go and have a look around. See a picture of a dinosaur. Might see some dinosaurs. You never know. I'll try and contain my excitement. <laughs> uh, well, that's good, I left my cutlery in the car. Creepy. Hello. Hmm. Ah, shrooms. Video. It's a video. You can't video, I'm afraid. Why? Because it's against museum policy. Oh, but I can take photos. You can take still photographs, but there's no uh, videoing. Unless you've booked something with the learning department. How do I do that? Um, you'd have to, well, if you go to the main desk, yep. you can do it through that. But it's normally for school groups and if it's a project or something with the university, they wouldn't do it for an individual. Oh. So it's museum policy, I'm afraid. Still photographs are fine, but videos are not. Oh. Well, I video everywhere I go, so. Well, you can't video in here. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, that's stupid. Well, I'm afraid it's museum policy. But well, but is it off now, or are you still videoing? I'm still videoing. I video everything. Well, I never not video. <laughs> well, you can't do it in here. It's against museum policy, so can you turn it off, please? Uh, well, I'm leaving now. I've already videoed in this bit anyway. You can ask. You can ask. I am refusing, yeah. Oh, he's hiding behind the wall. I've been a naughty boy. He thinks he's James Bond. He's like hiding behind a wall. 
What an absolute moron. So, so this is the museum. Don't come here. Let's just zoom in on the tyrant. There he is. Oh, he's hiding again. There he is. And he's going. Oh, oh, let's hide. <laughs> oh my god, what an absolute knob. <laughs> Honestly, you should have seen him. Well, you probably did see him there, hiding behind the wall. Alright, let's go tell this lady that uh, they're not okay. She, she recommended it and said that they're lovely in there. But you know. So this is the, whatever museum this is. Filming, not allowed. Did you go in? Uh, they threw me out. Why? For using a camera. Ah. Oh. What's that then? They threw him out for using a camera. You know, using a camera in a museum. Weird. He said, I'm allowed to use a camera if I come as part of a group, like a school or university, he said, but not as an individual. And then. Where have you come from? Just like Brighton, why? Honestly, he was like hiding behind walls and stuff. He thought he was James Bond. Dude. I told him that it was stupid. Yeah. And then he started getting on his radio. He said, Are you refusing? <laughs> you're not refusing, you're just making, I'm giving your opinion, it's stupid. Little lassie. Yeah. Oh well. Little lassie. Hello. Hello. No, you're right, not many, no. Not many. No. Right, let's check out the progress on this sky wheel. Oh my god, what is going on with the camera? entirely sure what this company is but you can very clearly see their computers. Should we go in and have a look? Averson Young. Hmm. Powered by people. Hmm. Yo, what is this place? What's this one? What is that uh, place? What is that? Av Averson Young? Uh, what company is it? Yeah, but why are you asking? Like, because, like, what do they do? Having a microphone and a recorder. Why are yeah. you asking? Because I want to know what the company does. I can't tell you, I'm afraid. Is it a government company? Can I ask you to leave, sir? Uh, you can, but I've got a concern. I've got a concern. About what? Uh, privacy in this company. Shall I show you? If you go outside and look through the window, can you go outside, sir? Do you want me to show you? Can you leave the place? Please? Can I show, show you my concern? There's a problem. What problem? A security problem. Can you go outside then? Well, can I show you the problem? 
Shall I show you the problem? Are you going to talk or not? Can you go outside the building, please? Yeah, but I want to speak to these people. No, you can't. Yeah. Why? You have to leave the building. What's so secret? There's a problem. There's no secret. What's the problem? The problem is that when I walk past here, uh, you know the windows here? Yeah. I can see all the private information on their computer screens. So that's breaching GDPR, so I need to tell them. Wait, how do you know it's private? Because I looked at it. Well, then why do you look at it? Because I can. <laughs> but it's not, it's, they need to protect it. But I, that's what I'm saying. Are they... Yeah, if you leave the building now, I'm going to let them know. Can you go outside, sir? But I want to know, is it like something where it could be a customer's information? I'm wasting or? my time. I have something to do there. You're watching the telly? <laughs> I have, I'm, watching, I'm listening to the radio, I'm, I'm doing something. Can you the That's not sir? work. <laughs> That's not important. It is important because you are taking my time. Can yeah, you but you're being paid. Can you leave, please? This is your job. Can you leave, please? I'm just doing my umbrella, hang on. But how do people cope with one hand? I can't do it with two hands. I don't know. So what else is here? So that's a bank. Never heard of that. Can you leave the billion, please? Never heard of that. Haverson Young. What do they do? That's the exit. I can't tell it to anyone. I'm going to look it up on the internet. That's up to you. <laughs> if you want to find out, can I access net? Young. What's so secret about it? It's not a secret. Because you're having a. Because you are recording, you have a recording device. I can't talk to you about that. Oh, they're real can estate I, agents. I, just can you leave, please? Well, can you tell them? Look, I'll show you this. Wi this window here. Oh, they've closed the blinds now. That's good. <laughs> oh no, they didn't close this one. We'll show them. Hmm. That's not good. <laughs> Who are you? Okay. Because I can. <laughs> oh, he's angry. If they don't want their screens recorded, maybe they should turn them away from the public view. Just an idea. Uh, Metro Bank who love to have their screens on display. Good, she turned it off. That's good for the short term. <laughs> Still not very good, is it? Yeah, see that one's better. You can't see that from here. If they could all be like that one, we'd be all right. Still not very good though, is it? Not for a major bank. Hello? You can't be going around filming in here, by the way. 
Why? Uh, it's a um, private com um, company, so... Are you filming me? Pardon? Are you filming me? No, it's off. It's green? It's green. Yeah, it's off. Oh, it should right. be red, okay? Okay. Yeah, so if you want to um, pick a video around, you need to ask for the permit, by the way. Can I have a permit? You can just go down to the... Um, Take me there. Ask one of the um, customer service desk. I don't know where it is. If you show me, yeah, I'll ask them. Yeah, just go up on the escalator. They said that's in front of you when you go up. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, go up, I'll go upstairs, okay? Yeah. Um. Hmm. That's an interesting guitar. Some hideous art. And, uh, He's a bit too timid to be a security guard, isn't he? Uh, copyrighted music, talk over it, narration, narration, narration. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we go. Huh? I don't want to go there. I just want. I'm just going out here now. All right, no I don't want to be in here anymore. I'm um, obviously with that building, by the way. You can just go around taking video. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Where's the? Uh, there's another. There's another shopping centre with a car park in it. This has got a car park in it. I'm parked in a car park in a shopping centre, but I don't know which one. Where is it? Like down to basement or up onto the uh, multi-storey? Multi-storey. Yeah, it's up this way. So. How do you get to that? Walk down to the middle. Take a left. Do I go on the escalator? Um, uh, it's up to you. Yeah, there, there's a lift on the left here. You, you just need to take a lift from from there to go up to the car park. All right. How do you get in here? Oh God. Thank you. Meanwhile, we continue to record. Thank you very much. Do need to go to my car though. So that's handy. I don't think it's this one though. It's private property, yeah. You shouldn't be filming in here. You've got to have a permit to film in here. Oh, I don't know how to turn this off. What, 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 oh, you, there we go. Doing blogging, is it, or something like that? Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. But in future, you can't go through the centre of blogging, all right? You need a social media pass. Well, it's uh, vlogging. Yeah, yeah. Blogging. Video blogging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, that's, that's the you know one. You, yeah, you need a social media <laughs> pass to do it in here, because it's private oh. property, that's all. Can I have one of those? Hmm? Can I have one of those? You can apply to it. It's got one on St. David's website. Oh, uh, I don't, don't bother with the internet. Okay, then. Where am I? What's that one? I'm gonna just check, sorry. That's King. up on here. C A M. That's King. Capital Shopping Centre. Oh. That's Capital, though. It's just. Oh, yeah. You know where Capital is? It's on the front of town, though, isn't it? Yeah, oh. when you go out. I'm mean, not from here, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Um, just go down here now. Yeah. Got the doors. Don't take the first left, the second left. Just right. Keep going down, and you'll see a, a set of traffic lights, and you'll see a bar called Chapel, and it's down that way there. All right. Okay? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I knew this wasn't the one. Yeah, typical. Stop recording and they fucking appear out of nowhere. Demanding that I wipe the footage. Because any footage that I take in here is copyrighted. What a load of bollocks. You need a social media pass. <laughs> oh, well, they told me where my uh, car is from my car park ticket, so at least they made themselves useful. And I forgot to record an outro, but thanks for watching, and until next time, this is AA, out.